Hi guys, uh, Eugene here. Continuing the series of my journey to becoming an entrepreneur. So, yesterday marks the five years of me basically giving up everything um, to start again. So, what I mean by that is, obviously, as some of you might know by now, if you've been watching these videos... I moved back from the UK, London, to back to South Africa five years ago yesterday. And I gave up my house there. Okay, I rented my house out, so I didn't technically give it up. But I gave a good paying job up. Um, I gave up my fiance. Um, and I moved back to South Africa to basically start again. Didn't know what I was going to do. In in the UK, I was working in building maintenance. Getting paid quite a good salary. Yes, I worked an extreme amount of days, hours. When I say I worked seven days a week, I mean I worked seven days a week. Um, and during that time, I learned a lot about myself. And it gave me the courage to... Um, do certain things which I would never have done before. Um, when I bought my house in the UK, I redid the kitchen, I redid the bathroom, um, and I did that myself. Um, and it's because of the knowledge I gained from my previous job. So coming back to South Africa, I didn't want to do maintenance, um, as I just... Deep down, I just felt that there was something better out there, um, something more fulfilling. So, I moved back, I moved in with my folks, with my mom and my stepdad, and I spent the next three years studying. Um, well, when I say three years, I'm still studying now, um, five years later, but this is for me now. This is for my growth as a person. Um, I started off by doing web design and then moved into SEO, um, then went into AdWords, Google AdWords, marketing stuff, uh, Facebook, social media marketing, Twitter marketing, read all the books and the manuals and blah, 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 um, started my first business because of that, called Genius Web Solutions, um, and it's, it's done quite well. Um, I have taken my foot off the gas on that business slightly. Um, in the sense that I don't want to do work for clients anymore. I want to basically use that platform, that company to promote my other businesses. Second business I started up uh, just over a year ago now is an industrial rope access company. A, uh, company so basically you know the guys that sit off the side of buildings with ropes and stuff doing various jobs from concrete repair to silo repair to cleaning to maintenance so back in the maintenance game funny enough um, but I started that with my best friend um, and we're business partners in that so he's he's done it for so many years that it just made sense that we did our own thing with regards to that. Um, I've also started up uh, over the last year. I've also started up a cryptocurrency um, website where we try and explain um, as much about how to get involved, how to what it is, how to be safe, what exchanges are, what wallets are. But some of the technology is we want to expand more into that arena. Um, but yes, that's that's what I've been doing in the last five years. It's just this absolute, how do I explain it? Like this sponge of, I just want to know more. I just want to know more. Um, yes, the life of an entrepreneur isn't probably, it's just, to some people it looks very glamorous. 
Um, but I'll be honest with you that I'm staying with my friend, my business partner, his wife and three kids. So sometimes you, as an entrepreneur, you have to try and make those sacrifices for the bigger picture. And it's not a sacrifice staying with my friends and stuff and their kids, but you know what I mean? Like you could have so much more and be in a such better position. Um, but sometimes as an entrepreneur, you have to make those sacrifices or a budding entrepreneur. Let's put it that way. I don't see myself as an entrepreneur yet. A lot of people that know me already see me as that, but I just see myself as a business owner at the moment. Um, I believe that when it comes to entrepreneurialism, it's a case of rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Um, and yes, I'm trying that. And yes, looking back over the last five years, I wouldn't take anything back. Um, the amount I've grown over the last five years, the amount of absolute knowledge I've tried to consume over the last five years um, has made me internally happy. Yes, there's some aspects that I'm probably not happy with. I don't. I'd, I would like to meet someone, etc., etc. Like to settle down and all that. But it's also hard because I'm so driven and so motivated and so. I just want the best for me and the people around me and stuff. And I find that a lot of the people you try and meet and stuff, they just don't have that same drive, that same ambition, the same goals. And it makes it really hard. I've had two or three people turn around and actually say that on a, t on a date that um, I'm way too clever for them. And I'm like, really? Okay, well... I think you're, you're, you've put the barrier there now. Um, and yeah, that's it's quite frustrating in that sense. I had a, um, a WhatsApp message from my mom yesterday saying, Guess, uh, do you know what? And I was like, what? The fact that I've been back five years today. And she's like, yes, that's so. That's, that's exactly it. And um, I just want to say how much I've enjoyed watching you grow over the last five years. And you've made me happy and stuff like that. And my response was, thanks very much, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so the first five years has been amazing, but I'm looking forward to the next five years. The next five years is more growth, more, more ambition to be shown to try and help not only myself, but also help the people around me to also grow as... A <laughs> Like I, I want like I want to be a successful entrepreneur. I also want to be a motivational coach because I believe that if I can do it, anyone can. And yes, I know a lot of the motivational speakers will say, "All you got to do is work hard," and I agree. You just have to work harder than everyone else if you want to live that dream. Um, and I get that, and people are afraid of that, it's the fear fear of the unknown, uh, if I quit my 9 to 5, what then, and all that, and once once you have, like, like Tony Robbins has said, and I'm sure I've quoted this before, that some people say, it took me 10 years to change your life, my life, no, it didn't, it took you 10 years of procrastinating, but it took one moment recently for you to go, fuck it. This is what I need to do. If I don't do it now, as as you've seen Facebook and Twitter and all those memes about the older generation where they say, um, what, what do you regret the most? And 90% of them will say, the things I didn't do. Now... If you want to become an entrepreneur and you want to be successful, don't think about it. Start putting a plan into action. And it took me literally 
starting from scratch to put my plan into action. I didn't know what my plan was. I didn't have a clue what my plan was. But I... I just sat on the internet and I just started reading things and then I started working on this project and this thing and then before I knew it I knew how to design websites and then from there it grew into um, SEO search engine optimization and from there it grew again into content and content marketing and graphic design I don't do graphic design I know my strengths and weaknesses um, and I'm learning more about that aspect of my life so I know I'm not good with actually designing something and putting it out there so I've employed people that will do that that people that are good at that um, and that is their speciality their forte so use that to your advantage you know what I mean um, and yeah like I, I just didn't know and as time progressed and I learned about this and about that and I learned about who I am, um, I'm now learning what I'm actually capable of. Um, and I, I now have a, a, a coach that's... When I first... <laughs> when I was first proposed, like made a proposition by a coach about um, I'll give you coaching if you design me a website. I was like, coaching? Hmm. And I've had about five sessions now and I must admit, it's pretty good. Um, it, you do have those ha-ha moments like, oh no, that's where I've gone wrong. And the reason why I'm putting out these videos is now because of a conversation me and my coach had. So, is coaching a good idea? Yes, it is. Am I a coach? And I'm not a coach. I'm more a motivational speaker um, sort of thing. I think I'll probably land up going in the future and doing my coaching. Um, just so that... You can reach more people. You can let them have that ha-ha moment instead of me or other other motivational speakers saying, "Oh, all you got to do is work hard, just grind, just grind." Blah, blah, blah. I get that. I eh? I get that. It is an upward battle from the time you start. I get that, but it's the most fun and interesting adventure I've ever been on. The more I learn, the more I learn about myself, the more I engross myself in new fields, the more I learn about myself. And this is a discovery. This is a, this is a journey of discovery. That's what I was trying to say. This is a journey of discovery. And if you're not willing to accept who you are and what you are actually capable of, then it becomes difficult. So, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I went to the beach to go try to do this video on the beach, but it was way too windy. So, uh, that's why I'm in my car. Um, yeah, I just I just wanted to put this message out there to say that the last five years of my life have been the most amazing lesson I could have ever learned. And if my journey can inspire one other person my my journeys I've I wouldn't say I've reached the pinnacle because the pinnacle is me reaching thousands of people and um, that's the pinnacle but if at this point in my life I can reach one other person that would be amazing and um, one of the most used quotes I have recently that I use quite a bit now is you are exactly where you're supposed to be so if you want those nice cars and fancy houses and stuff like that and 
you're sitting behind a desk job or you're sitting doing procrastinating basically then you are exactly where you want uh, should be if you're working every day towards your goals and you're driven and you're passionate and every day this is this is my game plan um, you have goals your goals keep changing as you grow as a person then you are exactly where you're supposed to be um, I know where I want to be but I know exactly where I am now where I want to be involves a lot more growth it involves a lot more knowledge a lot more studying a lot more personal development and yeah I I just wanted to share this with you guys today so anyway thanks very much um, and I hope to see you guys soon in another video this series will continue about my journey my current journey where I am because it might just resonate with one or two other people as they um, grow on their journey so anyway guys have a fantastic day catch you in the next episode